Afternoon folks. <sighs> right, where are we? Have a look around. We're back in Lincoln Hill Woods. And today I've brought a trowel with me just for scratching at the surface for different things. And uh, just in front on the surface for metal, I've brought this pinpointer. Looks like a carrot. I turn it on. Yeah, look. There you go. Shows up metal. They use for when people go metal detecting. But I thought I'd bring it along and uh, give it a go. Just on the surface. And uh, so far, just on the surface, I found these four items, all broken, but just intriguing, an old metal saucepan of some kind, you know it's old because it's, uh, well I think it's old because of the the enamel coating on the inside and the weight of it for a start got an old handle here looks as though it's off a jug or something a broken bottle it says something on the bottom but uh, I'll check it out when I get home later and also this as you can see, this is also broken as well, but there is a name on the bottom, which I'll check out later. Right, leave them just there for now, and uh, have a mooch a bit further along. I don't think we're going to find much of any importance or value, but it passes a couple of hours away, doesn't it? Another old bottle, broken bottle there with the uh, iron bridge on it. And before I started, I picked this up as well. Another green bottle, it says something brewery, which I, for a guess, I'd say was Reeking Brewery, Wellington Solop. So, yeah, intriguing. Well, they are to me anyway. Might not mean anything to you professionals at it, but I'm just doing it for a, a bit of fun. And it provides a bit of extra content for the uh, YouTube channel. There's another old saucepan as you can see the bottom and the handle have totally gone but that was just lying on the surface and lying on the surface again are these uh, two bits here Mm. 
Evet. That's got an F on the bottom of it. So, let's put that down for a minute. That's got some writing. But it's way too hard to uh, read. But they're worth a look at after when I get on. Another one on the surface. Crystal Wellington Salop right. Put that with them Oh, what's this? Nothing on that. Just uh, turn them upside down. There's quite a bit on the surface. Oh, what's this? Well, that's a modern day jar. Right, there seems to be a few of these about. And that to one side. Benji's having a good old wander around. Watch out, Benji. And go off that there. Like I say, there's uh, quite a bit of modern day stuff here because there's uh, at different points in time there's people camped out and lived down here, homeless people and what have you. There's a marking on that, so I'll uh, take that with me. It's 
See, it's not old because it's a screw top, but just something to look up and uh, find out about. And what you've got to remember is we're near to an old pub so some of the stuff could be just bunged over the, from the old pub you know over the years there's another one of them <laughs> I think that's in a few yeah seen that seen better times yeah it's an old handle there look Interesting look. Metal rope. <coughs> Could have been uh, Something to do with the old mines, but there is um, what you call it power lines close to here. So, wonder if it was anything to do with them. Like I say, I'm not an expert at this by any means, but. Uh, Basically, I'm a very nosy, intrigued person. On the enamel lid. Bottle here, look. Is this alpine or something? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Old alpine pop bottle. From the days when the pop man used to come round the house. Again, it's broken, but it's worth a look at. With that one, I'll have a look with uh, it, how the design of the bottles changed over the years, you know. Looks 
like an old floor tile. A log again. <laughs> yeah, look. Half pint glass from the local pub. <laughs> Empty that water in that suitcase. Stop him drinking it. I'll just close the lid up. Let me look. Bench. Come on, out the way. Like I said in the last video, it's quite slippy. Red cabbage. Right. These are very sensitive, as you can see. And uh, had this off my brother-in-law. Fair play to him. He's into his metal detecting. I'm just scratching at the surface today. So, but uh, like I said, I will do a few different videos of this area. Oh, 
I haven't brought a shovel or anything. So I just brought this trowel. I'm just, you know, just scratching about. All the way up for the time being. See, you never know, it could be something really interesting, just on the surface. I don't know if you remember, or if you saw it in the other video, but I found um, a milk bottle, old milk bottle, but it was broken, but it said Iron Bridge or something else on it, and uh, I looked it up and asked on the different Facebook groups, and um, it was from the hygienic dairy in Ironbridge. From what I can make out, the dairy was running up until the 60s. This ain't gonna be a long video, it's just Today was um, was a nice day and it's not raining so I thought I'd come out and have a scratch about. Eventually I want to get up there, I want to get up in that area if I can. And uh, this will do me just for today, just tatting about really. Plastic and recent bottle. cassette tape. Look at that. Bench, come on down here.
these blooming vines you got to be careful of them else you end up going there uh, rolling down the bank I thought that was a glass topper out of a bottle, but it's uh, just plastic. What's that? Huh. I thought that was a coin for a minute or a token of some sort but it's encased in plastic Nah, looks like old makeup or something. Ooh, yep. Watch out, bench. Bench. And this be a bit careful here because this seems a bit loose. Okay. There's an hole there, and same here. But... What it is, it's uh, I was thinking... It might have been an old badger set, but... I don't think it is. I uh, think someone's been here having a dig. Because there is bits of glass about and what have you. And uh, 
it's not far in so it doesn't go far in watch your bench move come on bench let's crop, fill it back in Benji, move! Right. Yeah, it looks like someone has been having a dig here as well. I'm pretty sure if it was a badger set, there'd be the um, sign of usage. But there isn't. Well, I'll do anyway. <laughs> See, vines. Hey, up. Get off. That's it. Here's that bit of roly poly for you, folks. Um. What I was going to say before I was rudely interrupted is uh, I'll bring a trail camera down and uh, set one of them up so so I can keep an eye on it. All right, folks, that's it for this one. Uh, we'll catch you again soon in another video, so bye for now. Take care.